Hey everyone, in this video today what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate x raised to x with respect to x squared. Now this is quite a tricky problem that often trips people up, but as we're about to see, it's just a simple application of the chain rule. So we're going to begin by letting f be equal to f of g of x. If we differentiate f with respect to x, we get df dx is equal to the derivative of f with respect to g multiplied by the derivative of g with respect to x. And if we divide both sides by the derivative of g with respect to x, we get the following formula. The derivative of f with respect to g is equal to the derivative of f with respect to x divided by the derivative of g with respect to x. And this is excellent, because in theory, now we can differentiate any function with respect to another function using this formula. And all that's left to do now is choose our f and g. In our example, f is equal to x raised to x and g is equal to x squared. If you're unsure how I chose them, compare the formula which we derived with the traditional dy dx or the derivative of y with respect to x. Now, differentiating g is pretty simple, but differentiating x raised to x might pose some trouble for some people. So let's go ahead and do that. We can begin by writing f is equal to x raised to x. If we take the natural logarithm of both sides, this implies that the natural logarithm of f is equal to the natural logarithm of x raised to x, which we can rewrite as x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x using the power rule for natural logarithms. Now we want to differentiate both sides of this formula. We can differentiate the left hand side using the chain rule. So we take the derivative of the outside part, which is 1 over f, and then we take the derivative of the inside part, which is the derivative of f with respect to x. To differentiate the right hand side, we need to use the product rule. Doing so, we get the natural logarithm of x plus 1. If we multiply both sides by f, we get the derivative of f with respect to x is equal to x raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x plus 1. So, we're now in a position to apply our formula. Doing so, we have the derivative of x raised to x with respect to x squared is equal to the derivative of x raised to x with respect to x divided by the derivative of x squared with respect to x, which equals x raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x plus 1 divided by 2x. Simplifying, we get our final answer, which is x raised to x minus 1 multiplied by the natural logarithm of x plus 1 divided by 2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did, and comment down below what you thought of this video. I hope you have a great day.